everyone, Sway here. Finally reviewing the M2K, but real quick first, I'm posting gameplay videos to my second YouTube channel and my TikTok, so if you're in an Apex or Titanfall, uh, please follow those. Please, please, please. I'm starting to put a lot of stuff out there, and uh, I won't shill too hard, so uh, on to the review. The M2K. I am so glad to have something that is not made out of plastic. This thing is honestly really crazy, but it's not my main right now. I got it a while ago and I used it a lot, but I only really enjoy it truly for Valorant and Counter-Strike. And I'm sure if I went back to play some Siege, I'd like it for that too. And I'll explain why, but overall, this mouse is not for everyone. <laughs> And because it's not for everyone, and because it's so niche, I honestly don't know if I can say it's worth the money. Sure, I'm glad I bought it because I play fingertip and I'm delusional and I'm a, a deviant and I buy a lot of mice, but I also review them. So I don't know if I would have bought this mouse if I wasn't going to make a video about it. But then at the same time, I really wanted to try it because I like the HSK and this is just like boom this is like the hsk on crack except not at all because they feel really different in the hand but you get what i'm saying it is a delusional fingertip user's dream and i reached out and i grabbed that dream and honestly there's so much i like about this mouse but at the end of the day the reason why it's not my main is just the shape isn't for me and i do think i crave side buttons which i used to think was a bit of a weird choice if you were a fingertip user, but now it's just just the convenience. Like I will never press a side button while I'm shooting as a fingertip grip user, but there's there's sometimes there's keybinds I want to press when I'm not shooting, and uh, I just I, I miss that. I'm not gonna lie. And um, while I do play better, I, I legit like play better intact shooters with it, and um, I do see it, and my click timing feels great with it, but. Um, the improvement I get or the perceived higher peak that I have with it is just not worth the lack of convenience, you know? Lately I'm playing on this, modded by Cryomod, so the Team Wolf Lurker. It is mm, really good, amazing mouse now because stock, the mouse is extremely bad. But it is just so good now, and it has everything I want, and the shape is really nice, and it has the side buttons that are actually pressable because it's modded. And it's just, this gives me everything I want. And it's still extremely light. It's like, what, 40-something? I think under 50 grams. And um, compared to the 24 of this, I think once you're getting under 50, you get, like, extremely diminishing returns when you go lower and lower weight. And um, at the end of the day, this just... I love it, and I'm going to keep it forever. I don't think I'll ever sell it, but it's just not something I can use in every game that I play. If I, Like I said, if I ever go back to CS or Valorant just for fun, I'm going to be using it because I love it. But it's not my favorite not my favorite i need the side buttons and um i don't know there's just something about the shape and i didn't really like understand what people were saying they were like yeah i just can't track as well with it i was like really but then i got it and uh there's just something that just it doesn't feel the same and i'm really gonna have to like delve into like shape theory a bit more for fingertip before i can like speak on it speak on it definitively because if I said anything about it right now, I feel like I'd just be speaking out of my ass and then I'd get a comment in like four months like, well, actually, and they'd be right. And I'd be like, fuck, because <laughs> I've had that happen a few times. I, I'll, I watch back some of my old reviews. And I'm like, God, you're so dumb and didn't know anything. And I'm constantly growing as someone who's reviewing things for other consumers, because as you know, I've never been sent anything. I have to, I've bought it all myself. So. I just want y'all to make good decisions, the purchases you make, and I really like talking about mice and mouse pads. But obviously, yeah, that's, I don't even know what I was saying anymore. I'm just going to start talking about the mice, um, the mouse. So yeah, other than not knowing why I don't track as well on it, like everything about this mouse is so good. I got the, the sandblasted shell, and it makes me wish every single mouse I ever owned, again, for the rest of time, is made of like a carbon fiber sandblasted shell. It just feels so nice it's like just textured enough but not like overly grippy or sticky it just feels so good i i it almost made me like i honestly thought about like carbon fiber wrapping some of my mice even though it would add some weight i don't care like if i can make it feel like this especially mice with um with buttons on or holes on the side of like the fact that this is like solid is really nice as well 
It's just, regardless of how, like, light and flimsy you'd think it feels, like, I'm, like, actually pressing pretty hard right now, and I'm kind of scared because I've never pressed this hard, but it is not creaking, it is not budging. Even from the top, like, there, there's nothing. I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to obviously touch, like, <laughs> pressure this right here, but, like, it's really solid. Um, the cable, the cable, I hate it. It's really bad. But something I've found about rubber cables or stiffer paracords, if you paracord them or if you um, bungee them from up, it's basically wireless because it like stays in place so it doesn't like actually touch the pad. So what I actually do is I, um, when I'm using a mouse like this, I just get a hair tie and I tie it around the little peg on my monitor mount where it attaches to my monitor. So I just play like this and honestly it, it feels really close to wireless in the same way that like a really good paracord feels really close to wireless for me. And uh, so although I really do like or really don't like the um, the cord, the cable, it didn't hinder me as much as I thought it would when I was waiting for it, you know. I, I don't know, I was really scared that it was going to like ruin the experience for me, but it didn't end up mattering too much. Now the clicks... I don't even know what, I'm on their site right now. I honestly don't know what switches they use. And if I can't find it in like five seconds, I'm just gonna stop looking because I don't wanna bore y'all and I don't wanna edit this video. Um... Okay, Omron, Omron D2F01F. So who knows, they're Omrons, but they feel insanely good. They're like a really crisp click, it's like tight, it's not like a really light click. It, it does have a little bit of weight to it, and I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Um, the scroll wheel, I know, I, what did they say? It was ceramic coated. It's it's one of the nicest scroll experiences I've ever experienced, if I'm going to be honest. It feels really, really good. It might be my favorite scroll wheel. So if, if, you're, if you're into nice scroll wheels, the M2K is a great one. Yeah, the steps just feel great. It just feels nice. It's really hard to explain. It's, it's hard for me to explain scroll wheel. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, clicks, scroll wheel, cable, shape. What else can you talk about with this mouse? The low weight. Um, 24 grams, it, it wasn't that mind blowing. Like I said, it's diminishing return turns when you get under 50, in my opinion. Even anything under 70 is really usable for me. If I'm going over that, I know I'm compromising. Like, and I'm only gonna be playing with something over 70 if I really like the shape. But yeah, it's extremely light, and um, I'm not going to lie, it did feel like really effortless to click on heads. But I don't think it's something that is unique to this mouse, you know? I think it's just about finding the shape that's right for you. The way I feel aiming on this mouse is very similar to how I feel when I play on the HSK. Which is why I think the HSK Plus is just going to dominate the um, tiny shape fingertip game. Because even though it's the HSK Plus, it's still extremely small. What, they added a few millimeters to the normal HSK and made it wireless and added side buttons? Sign me the fuck up. It might be the mouse to dethrone the Team Wolf Lurker for me. Because now that I got this modded, uh, the video I make about it, I'm just going to be shilling cryo. It, it's so good. Like, there's just something about the side buttons and like the fuller experience that just like rounds a, mou a mouse out. And I just don't get the full experience when I'm on the M2K. Like I can't, I can't like browse, like just use my computer comfortably, in the same way. Because there's just a bit, there's just something about it. Now, um, about the 8K Hertz, I think the only game I play that could take 8K Hertz is Quake Champions. So everything else was fine at 4K. At least for me, Apex, I didn't get any weird stuff. Valorant CS yes, at 4K Hertz, it was fine. Something I really do like is um, how it's all driverless. Like this and the MZ1 have been like the greatest mouse experiences out of the box for me because you just, you look at their little fucking cheat sheet and you do all the stuff and it's super easy to set your mouse up. And what I really like about this one is when, um, when you change stuff, your mouse on the screen, it'll like bounce up and down or left to right and it'll like f do all this shit to, to let you know what settings you're on. And I thought that was really a really intuitive way of doing it. And I feel like everyone should look to... Zone cone, I'm not gonna say it. Zone cone, cone. Um, the Zannies. Everyone should look to the Zannies and just copy what they do. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I had a pleasant time with this, but I don't. <laughs> if I had those 300 euros right now, I'd be happy because I'm kind of I'm kind of struggling right now, you know. So I don't know. It, it really just if you're if you're delusional, if you're an enthusiast, buy it. It's not 
It's not the end of the world. It's not the end all be all. However, it makes me really wish I had a Starlight 12. Because <laughs> plastic is just, I don't know. There's just something about plastic that ain't hidden anymore. This carbon fiber shell is really insane. And I hope they like make some more uni universal shapes. Would that be a good way to say it? Shapes that like fit for more people because like, uh, uh, all right, let's try and claw this thing. <clears throat> Oh god, if I like bend my fingers like that, I could claw it. I just like, I don't know. For one thing, I'm glad they're pushing the envelope and pushing the scene forward. They've been innovating for a long time. I don't even know when the M1K came out, but I think more people should try and do dope things like them. You know, and I'm not the biggest extra five show, but I think the MZ1, I, I just think original shapes are what we need right now. You know, people were cloning the, uh, People were cloning Zowie Mouse and they still are, you know, like for years and years and years. And right now everyone's cloning artisan pads. We've had like three years of Hien clones. Now we're going to have like three years of Zero clones. Um, maybe 2028 I'll be able to find like a non-artisan Hayataco type pad, you know. Like people just make new stuff, please. It's getting stale out here and I want to try new things. I want to review new things. I love the space, but it's just, it just hasn't been too fun, especially as a consumer, you know. I wish I got stuff sent to me, but, like, I have to wait for the lethal pads, which are, like, the only thing I'm really excited for right now. Zai's damage, I'm, like, I'm a little cautious about it. I feel like it's going to be, like, a high to Otsu, but I don't really know. But, yeah, that's the M2K. It is really crazy. It's, like I said, it, it didn't, like, change my world. It was, it's really fun to play on, and um, I'm sad that I don't like it for other games. Maybe I should come back to it again and, like, see how tracking feels. But um, there's just something about it that, I don't know. It just leaves a little to be desired for me. Oh, yeah, the mouse feet. The mouse feet are insane. I forgot to talk about that. I haven't reviewed a mouse in a while. I'm, I'm washed up. <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you. Uh, my next video will probably be the Odin Eclipse, which is somewhere down here. And then after that will be the Game Sense Radar. And spoilers. Let's just say... I don't, I don't see the Radar or the Eclipse competing with the Zero. I think the Zero and the X10 are in their own category because they're both a little bit faster than these two. And then the Radar and the Eclipse are in the same category. So you all already know I like the Zero more than the X10. So maybe stick around for my next few videos, my next two videos to find out what pad I like more. Spoilers, it's purple. Fuck. <laughs> all right, peace out, everybody. Um. Yeah, if you made it this far, thank you. Uh, sub to the second YouTube channel. Sub to the TikTok if you want. Um, I'm Audi. Peace out. I know this one's been... People have been waiting for this one. But uh, it's not the most accessible mouse. I know not many people that watch this own one or ever plan on getting getting one. So I hope you at least enjoyed me ranting about shit. And uh, that's, uh, that's all I got. It was really nice talking to y'all. Take it easy. Peace.